What is up guys, NPS Reefer here, back at it with another video. And today's video, we're gonna be talking about feeding TDL Chrome Boost to my non-photosynthetic reef. It has been almost three weeks since I've uploaded a YouTube video, simply because I have been extremely busy with, we just got done with basketball and then I left for vacation almost immediately after for two weeks in Florida, which was amazing. Uh, but in today's video, I'm gonna be specifically talking about TDL Chroma Boost and how I feed it to my non-photosynthetic reef. All right, guys, so I'm going to actually give you a quick rundown of what you need to uh, feed TDOA to your uh, reef tank, whatever you're feeding it to. I mean, I feed mine to my NPS corals and my uh, photosynthetic gorgonians um, from the Caribbean. Obviously, I need a TDO. I recommend having two cups, two small cups, um, one like halfway full of your tank water, and obviously one for the powder itself. Make sure you kind of shake it up a little bit. Sometimes if it sits in the fridge, um, it can tend to, like, clump up you don't usually have much of a problem with that you just dump it in the cup as much as you really need or feel like you're feeding add a little bit of your tank water and you want to make sure you mix it up real good i usually try to make sure there's no like powder left on top of the water just make sure it's all kind of dispersed into the water column here and you kind of get like an orange kind of color in the water a little bit of powder left on the top um then you're ready to go i mean obviously you just feed as much as you want um depending on like the size of your tank i try to be careful uh because obviously feeding too much of a food or any food can actually pollute your tank i've never had a problem with reconstruction tdo though uh so we're gonna go ahead and target feed different species in the non-photosynthetic tank and get you kind of some close-ups of the polyps and the coral eating Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this short little clips that I had put together for you um, of my corals and my non-photosynthetic tank eating TDOA. Um, this is one of my favorite products from Rank Nutrition now specifically because I woke up this morning, walked over my NPS tank and turned the lights on and TDOA particles were still suspended in the water column, which that was probably about eight to six or six to eight hours. Um, of sleep that I got last night and I woke up and there's still particles floating around in the non photosynthetic reef Which is amazing simply because the longer these particles stay suspended in the water column Means that those corals are constantly having options of eating pretty much constantly and over a six hour period of time They had food available for them So I definitely think this is gonna be beneficial in the long run for my NPS reef especially with keeping like carnations and other difficult soft corals um other than that, that's really what I wanted to show you guys today. I mean, there's still a lot more um, coming up in the NPS Reef. I got a bunch of plans for it, and I'm really excited to see what this tank has coming in the future. So thank you for watching this video. I want to give a big shout-out to Reef Nutrition for making this video possible. This stuff is awesome. So if you don't have this right now, especially if you have non-photosynthetic corals or small polyp corals or softies, definitely get this and try to try it. Just let me know if you have any questions, feel free to message me or even ask Chad Clayton himself. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to be the fish and feed them corals. We'll see you next time.